Hey, it's time for another benchmarking video. Vulture, a VPS and cloud service provider, recently unveiled some new instance types, and I've been curious to know what the CPU performance of those are compared to other instances. Now, it's worth pointing out before we get started that these regular compute cloud instances run on shared hardware, so they're not getting dedicated CPUs all to themselves, but rather sharing that CPU across lots of other guests in the same data center. I actually used to run EGIO from Vulture, so I'm pretty familiar with their offerings. There are four different CPU types on offer. We have AMD High Performance using the latest generation of AMD Epic CPUs. We have Intel High Performance using newer generation of Intel Xeon CPUs. And two more Intel options, Intel High Frequency using older Xeon chips and regular performance, which again is using Intel hardware. We're going to be running these tests out of the Seattle data center, since that's what's closest to me, and we're going to use Ubuntu LTS, since that's a nice sane target for our bench test. And it looks like the default instance size is a 2GB 1CPU virtual machine, but we're going to use the 2CPU instance size so that we can see how things scale across multiple CPUs. And these instances will cost about $24 a month, except for the OG Intel instance, which is $4 cheaper at just $20 a month. In a future video, maybe we can experiment with some of these different offerings and compare different instance types and sizes, but for this one, I want to just focus on the instance types rather than the sizes. And even though I just walked through the creation page here on Vulture, I'm actually going to be creating the instances and all of the resources through the API using a tool called Terraform. I have it configured so that we create our four servers and the user data that actually sets everything up for the test straight from the code. After Terraform is done running, we can see everything in the web UI. We've got our four servers, they're up and running, and we can actually drop into a VNC session and see everything bootstrap, which is pretty cool. But we're not going to be looking at server performance for a particular workload in this video. Instead, I want to just look at the CPU performance from data. So faster timings is all we're interested in seeing here. Asking a CPU to crunch numbers is usually a pretty good way of testing performance, so that's what we're going to do here. I wrote a set of tests that utilize free and open source tooling to work the CPU and generate good metrics that we can use to display and compare performance. I set up the test to run 100 times for each test and then parsed the results per instance and generated some charts so that you guys can see what's going on. Starting with Helsing, which is a curious little tool that calculates vampire numbers, this test is pretty simple. We input upper and lower values into the program and time how long it takes to get the results and average them. And out of the four instance types, the trusty old high-frequency instance running the older Intel Skylake Core pulled the best time with some 4 million vampire numbers found in under 26 seconds. The older VC2 instance type with the Skylake Xeon processor pulled the worst time by a long shot at 4 million numbers in 37 seconds, more than 10 seconds slower than the high-frequency instance. And next, let's calculate a ton of prime numbers with PrimeSieve. Now PrimeSieve is an interesting program because it doesn't just find primes, but it also takes advantage of the CPU's L1 and L2 caches and optimizes itself accordingly. Here we can see that the high performance AMD instance got surprisingly lackluster performance generating the same amount of primes a full 8 seconds slower than the high performance Intel instance. But just like the Helsing test, the previous generation of high frequency instance pulled the best time at 32.8 seconds averaged over 100 iterations. And lastly, we're going to use a crypto lib called Boten to hash a 2 gigabyte file with SHA-256. And right away you can see that the new AMD high performance instance excelled here, generating 100 hashes at an average of just under 3 seconds per operation. That's actually a huge difference when you look at the older VC2 instance, which averaged almost 11 seconds per operation. If you're thinking of using one of these instance types as like a CI or build server that hashes lots of stuff, the difference between the AMD and high frequency instance would add up quickly. That's why it's important to choose the right instance type for the job and why benchmark tests like these are useful. Now, there's a lot of things that we can glean from this benchmark. First off, it seemed to me that Vulture's high frequency instance type is still the best overall, pulling the best scores on two of three of the benchmarks and still being competitive on that third one. And the new high performance type honestly offers little in the way of tangible performance over the high frequency instance. If you had to pick one of them, 
I think that I'd say that the Intel variety seemed to do the best all around, but the AMD instance type definitely performed the best while generating hashes. Now the older VC2 type of instance is still competitive in certain workloads, especially if you don't need that speed. It's also $4 cheaper at this tier, and the savings just increases as the instance size goes up. And lastly, this isn't really a takeaway, but would you guys find a chart like this one at the bottom useful? With n number of data points, because I can scale the tests infinitely, basically, maybe we could run a soak test and see if server performance dips during certain times of the day at certain data centers or something like that. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys like this new type of video and benchmark test. It was a lot of fun to make. I had an idea for a series like this, like a distro delve series, but for benchmarking like two years ago, but I didn't know how to make it happen, so I ended up shelving it. That being said, if you did like this video and you found it useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like benchmarks and the tests and things that I did, there is a repo on GitHub called Brunchmarks. And if you like that stuff, feel free to follow me on GitHub and leave a star on the repo. I appreciate all your support. And thanks for watching.